Hello, one and all. This is Local Sublocks. Welcome back to Subnautica, and thank you guys so much for giving me feedback. Um, there's clearly a lot of things that I missed out on, so this this session is probably going to be a lot about um, going back to some places that I've been to before and really searching them more thoroughly, and also trying to uh, whoa. Hello? Um. I did not expect to see that, but now now that I see it, I, I'm recalling that there was one of the pods that said it was floating on the surface by the Aurora, right? My inventory's full right now. Does Carl have, like, storage? Enter Seamoth. I, I imagine there's got to be some kind of power cell. Ah, that's how we that's how we change the power cell. Okay, there's probably some kind of way to some attachment for storage, right? Um. Okay. What do I not need? I got an awful lot of water. Well, I don't need the first aid kit. <laughs> I've got a ton of those to begin with, so I don't need to pick that up. That's good to have. Because that's all that we're really getting from here, so I don't need to PDA. Integrate a new PDA data. I don't need to get rid of anything. Let's take a look at that. Uh, there's a data download. Survivors. Life Pod 4 crew log. To any Altera crew. Landed in area of significant alien activity. Encountered predators in the Leviathan class. Highly aggressive. Spectroscope scanner assigned Welcome species aboard, designator Captain. Reaper. One specimen attempted to swallow the life pod doing extensive damage in the process. Only viable option is to make for the safety of the Aurora crash site. I have retrieved a data box with the creature decoy and enough resources to fabricate a couple of them. The swim's longer than the decoy lifetime, but it should just be enough to keep them busy. If you don't find me on board the ship, presume I miscalculated. Uh, I guess he miscalculated then. <laughs> Was there another uh, thing, or was that just the blueprint for the decoy time capsule? These sturdy containers are designed to store written and photographic evidence for later retrieval. In addition to a number of small items, time capsules are often fabricated by maroon survivors, seeking either to aid those who find themselves in the same predicament in the future, or to leave evidence of their plight, which may be found long after their bodies have disintegrated. Most emergency escape vehicles are equipped with a time capsule by default, usually found in the cockpit and be jettisoned on takeoff. Altera requests time capsules be stocked with tools and resources, which will aid those who may discover them in the future. So I guess we could make one of these, and if we die, we can get the equipment that's inside. Bioreactor. On planets where organic matter is plentiful, but sunlight is not, reliable bioreactor will frequently prove the most efficient power solution. This, the whole base building part has me a little nervous, all right? I don't play these games. <laughs> I think I'm, I like, I don't know where to build the base. I don't know like where to start. I'm kind of nervous about that because you guys are all watching me. Um, I think I do want to build my first base lower though. I think I want to go down into like the next layer to build it because then I don't know if that's smart though, but I feel like then I've got a base in that area that I can build off of. We'll see. Um, maybe installed in any multi-purpose habitat room, chemically compost organic materials, converting them into energy over time. Accepts all plant matter from seeds and spores to moldy fruits and vegetables. Okay. Can also process animal matter, fat, muscle, etc. and some organic waste products. Energy production is proportionate to the calorie in the organic matter. And then what was this codes and clues? Was this for 
transmission origin rate. So we found that. Um, it was life pod six that we haven't found yet. And it's 100 meters, dense red grass, 400 meters west, northwest of life pod four's last location. Okay. We didn't check that one out yet. So I'm also getting the impression that I should probably build some of those decoys. I think I got lucky with that uh, Leviathan last time. I guess I can't really look around, eh? But I'm in here. I love the sound it makes. Old Carl. Now, uh, I'm curious, does the Seamoth actually travel faster than than um, the Sea Glide? If it does, I don't feel like it's that much faster. Okay. First thing I want to do is build... Let's put... Actually, let's put our stuff away. Oh, yeah, and someone was saying... The reason why I couldn't expand... Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. The reason why I might not be able to expand this side is because I built the lockers too close to the edge. Okay. I guess I should have one for batteries. I guess I'll put it in stuff for now. <laughs> Uh, we'll put the, the, the batteries that, uh, wait, how come it's not? Switch container. Oh, there we go. We'll put the batteries that don't, uh, that are uncharged. 100%, 100%. Probably going to want to hang on to those. I'll put these in here too. We'll use those to decorate later. Don't need this much. Actually, I think I have a spot for this, right? Um, do I have one for food? Shrooms? Diamond, salt, quartz? Urinate. Oh, and there's like supposed to be colors? You could change the color of the text. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Not that many different colors, though. Eh? Neat. Um, I'll put food and uh, coral, I guess, in here. Put some water in here, too. Wait, what was that that just went across? I don't need this many batteries, I don't think. So I have like three. Put the first eight kits in there too. So I have two on hand. Maybe I'm carrying too much stuff, I don't know. Uh, coral food. That's right, we had another message too. Let's uh, build stuff first before we check that out. So, we've got to build this. So I need uh, the wiring kit. I think that's what that's called, right? Silver ore. Okay. I don't have any, I guess. Let's go find some silver ore. Or sorry, uh, I have one. I gotta listen to the message before we go. This is an automated distress signal from Life Pod 12. Coordinates attack. Warning Life Pod has sucked beyond safe diving distance. Do not attempt retrieval without submersible support. Signal location uploaded to PDA. So maybe this is where we'll build our first base because it's so it's so low in the water. Or deep, I should say. Um, the pod three. 
So we're going to change this to red because that's what we're making our life pods. Sunk to the ocean bed. 250 meters. Hmm. We could actually... Why don't we head there? Um, before I do, though, I also wanted to check out... Uh, upgrading our boy Carl. Wait, Neptune escape rocket? Neptune launch platform? Wow, we actually, <laughs> we could actually build this already. Vehicles, Cyclops, prawn suit. Is there like, how do I? Is there like upgrades I can perform on vehicles? Like, isn't there parts for the Seamoth? Maybe that's just the Cyclops? Creature decoy. I want to build those. Wait, we have zero. I thought we. I thought I scanned prawn suit stuff. Hmm. I thought I had the parts for the repul. I thought I had the um. Repulsion cannon. Oh, propulsion. Oh, there's a difference. This is the repulsion. Okay, okay. Prime suit drill arm. Okay. Scanner room upgrades. I should build the scanner room, shouldn't I? Cyclops. Okay. So I can't. I can't upgrade my boy Carl. I can only upgrade the uh, Cyclops when I build it. Engine efficiency module. This is all very overwhelming. Oh, I, I can already afford the scanner room? Should I build it? Fuck. Power transmitter? Solar panels. Maybe I should build it to help me find resources. So in order to do that... Um... Habitat Builder. I'll leave that hatch. This is going to be, I think there's going to be a lot of me figuring stuff out <laughs> in the next, in the next little while. So videos might be a little bit uh, slower, longer and s slower while I figure stuff out. Look at all this stuff I found. That's awesome. I can always, like, if I want to build stuff lower, I can disassemble and rebuild this stuff, right? I'm not going to need power, too, I think. Scanner room. All oh, right, I just need to do this. How does this... Wait, what? How come I can I can't build it here, but I can build it like here? And where's the is this the hallway? How do I rotate? Hold on, I don't I, I'm assuming I can rotate stuff. You can track Cycle next. Slots. Alternate use. Maybe I can't. Well, I'm going to build this anyways. We'll see how this goes. Oh, rotate. There we go. Oh, it said at the top left. I didn't even notice. Sorry, guys. Maybe this is just where my base is going to be. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll just like 
Maybe I'll roll with it. Fabricator. Okay. Okay. Can I put a hatch here too? Looks like it. Hey! Cool. So we're gonna need some power. This is exciting. Like I said, I, I, I don't play a lot of survival games, so... I'm assuming I have to put the solar panel on the outside. Yeah, also, yeah, I guess it's probably kind of strange that I'm doing this above the surface. I don't, I don't know. Where do you put a solar panel? I would think like on top. I can put it underwater. Let me... <laughs> uh, just another quick reminder, I have not watched people play this game, so this is like, this is all new to me. Um, uh, okay, let me read about it. Uh, most prevalent power source in the galaxy. Okay. Provides limited power for small outposts and survival habitats. May be mounted on or near the habitat itself or placed remotely and connected via power transmitters. Relative to sunlight exposure. So why can't I put it on this somewhere? Like up here or something. But I can put it down here. I guess this is where I'll put it. Let's see what happens. Wait. Quartz and titanium. Okay, let's see if we can find some around here. We need the light. Also, I need some water. Okay. Also, I'm kind of looking for the other, uh, <laughs> the other part of the, uh, the beacon. Oh, I think I saw some quartz. <sighs> Shit. Is there like quartz in these things? Hello. Okay. So titanium would be nice. Kind of getting into the groove after not playing for a bit. Ha. Metal salvage is good. I presume like where I'm building that panel Get another message. Oxygen. Oh, right.
Also, uh, you guys mentioned that this, uh, where did I put that? Didn't I have a, th uh, oh, there it is. This is uh, reusable. I, I didn't realize that. I thought it was just like a one-time use. So I was saving it for if I was like a real oh shit moment. We did get close a few times though. <laughs> I don't need this on anymore. Oh, actually. Might as well grab that because I need titanium. We're also looking for silver. Oh yeah, I should be self-scanning as well. Infected. Okay. I mean... We knew that, didn't we? How much quartz did I get? Just two? Uh, I want this! Copper. Alright, let's head back. Probably didn't really need to grab, uh, um, grab those bladder fish, but whatever. Oh, look at her shadow down there. It's so cool. Yeah, these, I think these next few, <laughs> next few videos are going to be pretty chilled out as I, uh, come to grips with, uh, base building and exploring some stuff that we've already been to. But we're going to discover new things, aren't we? Is this a good spot? Maybe it should be facing the other direction, but I, I presume it's going to face the right way. Ah, nice. Hey, look at this! Control camera. Camera two. Camera one. Camera two. Camera one. <laughs> Wayne's World, anybody? No? Uh, okay. Whoa! Oh, this is neat. Wait. How come they're not showing anymore? Did they come back? What the fuck? Wait. I can't move it anymore. What is happening? Why am I like a... He fucking grabbed me! <laughs> <laughs> I was like, why is there a tusk there? <laughs> Am I stuck in one? How do I send it back? That's so funny. I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to... You can maybe give me some tips on what I'm supposed to exactly do with this. I guess it's used to, like, find resources. Okay, what we want to do is we want to actually scan for silver, right? I can't scan for silver? 
Is it because I never scanned it? Well, that's too bad. Camera drone. Scanner room speed upgrade. Enhanced speed of scanner room functionality. Scanner room HUD chip. So this is just the, um, it's not a, it's not a fabricator. It's a fabricator for this room. Scanner room upgrades. So I think we should build a fabricator also. How much is that going to cost me? I don't know. Is this going to be like too much power? I should put fish. I should put the rest of the fish like here, maybe the creatures. Oh, I'm consuming it. It's the I play. I'm playing Breath Edge also. It's the opposite button. So I kept dropping shit in Breath Edge when I was putting them in storage, and in this, I'm consuming them. <laughs> oh fuck my life. Don't play two survival games at once. Oh, I see. So every time I do something, it consumes power. Aerogel. Still need more silver. Okay. Let me just try this out though. Let's try to find fragment. So these are fragment like um vehicle fragments. Oh, there's one. Or not not like vehicle fragments, um blueprint fragments. There's one over there. So I guess I would then, then use the camera maybe to find them. Does it, does it show like, ah, okay. I think I understand. Can I scan with this too? So then, can I see where the camera is? Oh shit, look at that. Let's go out the other way. <laughs> I also don't need all this stuff in my inventory. Don't I have one just for... Okay, let's make another one. Um, for titanium. That's a good color for titanium. Shrooms are, are red, I guess. Uranite's green, right? Might as well use this. Creatures. Blue. Metal can be silver. Quartz is like silver or white. Diamond. Okay. Now, can I see where that camera was? I can. Cool. Uh, oh, sorry. I should be putting this stuff away. I need to put the rest of the stuff away. Before. Uh, we're going to go out and I'm going to uh, see if I can find some silver. And we're going to head out to that uh, life pod as well. I like to, I like to, when I'm searching for resources, I like to also do some exploration. So titanium. Quartz. 
ports. I should also probably put the stuff that's like similar next to each other. Sulfur. I don't have one for sulfur yet. Okay. And then this will be yellow. And I think I had sulfur in here. Okay, I feel I feel organized again. Cooking up a peeper to eat. Making that to drink. What is that clicking sound? It's driving me bonkers. 109, am I overfed? When I walk, how do I get rid of that clicking sound? Is that not driving you guys freaking bonkers? Welcome aboard, Captain. That's so cool. How did I miss this? <laughs> Is this the Oh, that's the camera drone. That's the beacon fragment! <laughs> Oh my god, it was right there? It's been right there the whole time? What do I need to make a bacon? That's fucking funny. Um, okay. Because I'm going to want to start, I'm going to want to start dropping these. Copper ore and titanium. Okay, let's grab some copper on the way. On the way back. If I haven't, like, exhausted the supply around here. Guess this is why we got to scan everything, right? Because we're just saying scan everything so I can find them. Find them later. I'm already bored. I'm looking for copper, that is. Guess that's what we use the room for, right? Welcome aboard, Captain. Ah, oh, I like that. Let's send the uh, the camera. I guess the further away it is, the longer it takes to make a connection to it. Yeah, it looks like it. Hey, it's Carl! Yeah, this is like, this, this scanning room is, it's like crucial, eh, in terms of um, finding stuff early on. And we'll just put it in like a safe spot, I guess. Um, oh yeah, I was making some, some bacons. Totally forgot what I was doing. Is it a tool? Pathfinder tool. I think it's a, it's a deployable. Okay. That way I can mark stuff and go back to it later. If I want to. I guess I'll have, I don't know, maybe like three. It's funny. I'm like carrying. Okay. How about two? How does that sound?
I wonder if I missed anything else. Just scan here. I feel like I went here, I just... Like I said before, sometimes the stuff that's just sitting around like this, it's hard to distinguish from, like, the beacon. <laughs> Clearly for me. So that's the camera that's on the habitat. There's the one that we sent out. I should probably have um, a power cell eh, when I go out. Oops. That's our camera. Oh shit! God damn it, you got me. We'll grab that. Why? It feels like the frame rate's kind of wonky here. Is it because of the lighting? <laughs> of course, I find another beacon fragment. Habitat warning emergency power only. Oh, because of the camera? Is that taking up too much power? Man, how did I miss these? I was, e I even opened this up? I think I opened that up. Oh no, that's a locker. Oh well. Coffee machine? What happens if I just grab it? Oh. 30 seconds. Guess I can bring that back with me. Okay, I'm really, I'm really, I'm getting the feel for this game now. More bacons. Feels good. Getting, I'm getting stuff. I'm making progress. I guess I scanned everything here. Oh God, I'm, now I'm like super paranoid that I'm missing a teeny tiny thing. Okay. Am I already out of water? Why am I consuming? It feels like I'm consuming way more water than I was before. I wonder if that's because of our illness. Is, uh, it says 8 meters and then 200 in yellow, I'm assuming. Is that supposed to be, like, the depth that Carl's uh, functional at? Warning. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. Oh! Of course. Of course we're at emergency power only because we're, we're using a solar generator. Uh, okay, let's drop this. Yes. So what other power sources... What other power sources can I make right now? Power restored. All primary systems online. Or is there like a battery? Magnetite. I 
thermal plant. That's what we need to find. Okay. I guess I should make one for each type of ore, too, like copper. Copper. Silver. Gold. There isn't really like an an orange for copper. And I wanted to grab water. Uh, I'm going to need this because I'm going to go back to the Aurora at some point. I'm just trying to think if there's any tools I don't need. I really would love to be able to expand my carrying capacity too. I wonder if that's a thing. I should expand my scanning capacity if I can afford that right now. Speed. Let's just upgrade it as much as we can. Um, streams data from scanner rooms to the HUD. So we, we want these, we want those for sure. Cool, that's what we're after. Now let's go. Welcome oh. aboard, the, Captain. the one thing that would be nice is if I could pick up resources while in Carl. That's a no. <laughs> Worth a shot there. Okay, let's go check out uh, Light Pod 12. 250 meters below. I should save it first. <laughs> I don't like that sound. That's right into something. The other thing that's cool about this, about Carl, right, is I can just pop out, scan this stuff, and then go back in to get, ooh, nuclear waste disposal. Pop, up, pop back in to get oxygen, right? That's kind of the main benefit. Acquired. I don't think that's particularly interesting to read right now. We're not generating any nuclear waste, so. I don't know why my movement's so wonky all of a sudden. That's something we need. Near blueprint acquired. Now, another kind of hint that I got from you guys is that whatever biome I find parts in... Wait, do I have the full bioreactor? Oh, I had the... I was thinking of the thermal plant. Hey, nice. That's going to be useful. Um, if there's a blueprint that I'm looking for, I'll find the parts for it in the same biome understood that person's comment correctly. So 
worry for the wonky movement, guys. I I think it might be because of Carl, because it's super smooth when I'm when I'm in in Carl here. And then when I get out, it doesn't seem so. Or maybe I'm just used to the Carl's movement now. Being smoother. Now it seems good. Oh, it's salvage. Don't really need that. What's this? I scan that? No. I can't have a little forklift in my base? Hey, it's a spoiler. Guess I didn't really need to scan that. I already got it. Ah. An interior bit? We already have that, don't we? Unpowered. Oh, this actually uses batteries? Oh. I, I, because there was no battery percentage, I just assumed this, this didn't use batteries, but. Boy, was I wrong. seconds. Hmm. Like I got everything here. And then I could use Carl in addition to the sea glide, right? For double the speed. We already had the bioreactor, so I didn't need to go back and scan that. But I should grab some of these on the way. Limestone. This copper's good too. We have a lot of electronics that need some copper, I think. Now, copper ore. I wanted to check to see if the laser cutter does not work. Okay. Good to know. Oh yeah, I can't scan the lead. Huh. So maybe I need an upgrade to be able to scan for some of those other things. I'm sure you guys will uh, answer that for me. Or maybe because it's in the, maybe I have to scan for limestone or uh, whatever, because it's inside uh, or sandstone. That makes more sense now that I think about it. Sandstone! Alright, that's fine. Silver! Detecting increased foreign bacteria levels in the water. Performing a self-scan is advised. Oh, I, I know I'm infected. Is it supposed to say more? The screaming noise we make is is brutal. 
I already have the laser cutter. That looks like sandstone, right? 30 seconds. Okay, we've kind of farmed this spot for a bit, so let's go move on a little bit further. Uh. Oxygen. Uh. <laughs> I maybe took that a little bit too far. Uh... We can really get a good look at stuff now also. Eh? I think I really need to carry all this titanium. It's all over the place. Oh. <laughs> I feel bad. The sound is, uh, oh, shit. The sound is awful, but it's also kind of funny. I'm going to fight drive through this. Matter. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Okay. So yeah, we can't go below 200. 